video, we use the TCI DC Mini Jolly 122-400 with the Legendtech DZ1G110 controller to show that the driver would switch off the light when we hit below 1 volt across the dim plus or minus input for the driver. If you do some reading on the 0 or 1 to tempo controller, you know that depending on how the current floating through the device, these controllers can be classified as sync or source type of devices. A sync type device gets the first more current from the driver approximately in the magnitude of 0.1 mA. For these at one g 110 our device is capable of syncing 50 mA or more, which means 500 plus drivers can be connected simultaneously to a single controller. While it is not practical, it is fair to say that the one to tempo controller can be used in one to many drivers type of situation. And the classic example of a sync type of device is a variable resistor. A source type of device, however, would have an independent source of current. Thus, this type of controller usually has four wires attached, two for the input control and two for its own AC power. In this video, we will have the Minwell LCM25 and the TCI 122400 side by side to illustrate the idea. To generate the reference voltage for the plus or minus, we have a standard power supply of 5 volt and a potentiometer or variable resistor 50 kilo ohm connected to the two LED drivers simultaneously. In the following, we'll measure the voltages going to the drivers as they reach the individual dim to off trigger points. Now let's take the initial measurement and you'll see 5 volt that's being fit into both drivers and we start the dimming operation. As predict, the TCI driver is the first to achieve them to off and we can see the voltage is going in is around 0 0.7 volt or 0 0.9 volt from an earlier measurement. Similarly, we take the measurement for the LCM25 and we see the voltage is very close to 0 volt or 0 0.1 volt from the earlier measurement. As we've mentioned, the dim to off function can also be achieved by shorting two input terminals together. Thus, if we remove the power supply from the potentiometer and only have the variable resistor connected to the drivers, this would also work. By only using the potentiometer alone. So to repeat, we have just witnessed that some drivers would dim to off at slightly below 1 volt first hole, while some would only dim to off at exactly or very close to 0 volt input. The inconsistency issue manifests itself at, zero, at even voltage less than 1 volt range. This becomes a real problem after you change the driver or controller and you face a different dim to off behavior. Last but not least, we must remi remind that when there is no light output, the power meter that connects to the drivers would actually show a non-zero reading. Again, the dim to off feature is not equivalent to actually cutting off the AC power to the driver. So it's very important for you to be clear of what you or your client wants in order to, to select the drivers. Is the dim to off feature really necessary? Would the driver or controller work together as predicted? Okay. So let's continue, let's conclude our video here. To learn more about dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. And once again, thank you for watching.